This week I am bringing you along with a few dinner ideas. Well, <laughs> they're not like recipes. With the new year, I have gone through everything. We're still working on organi organizing the house. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to film and share, if anything, but I just am feeling very overwhelmed for some reason in this house. So I wanna declutter and go through everything, and we're starting with the kitchen because, you know, food goes bad. I wanna make sure we're using what we have on hand and not just continuing to like buy stuff and fill things up. So we've done pretty good the last few months through the holidays. Yes, we've picked up like the fun holiday stuff and a few like extras for meals here and there, but We've done such a good job eating what we have for like the meal time, breakfast, lunches, dinners, that kind of thing, that we are down to the bare bones finally. So over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna finish eating out what we have. And this week I am filming some of those like easy, quick dinners. I'm pulling things out of what I have on hand, pantry, fridge, freezer making some quick dinners for my family and bringing you guys along just in case you're trying to do the same thing, eat what you have, coming up with meals out of what you have on hand. So I've got four dinners that I'm gonna be sharing this week. Um, we always have one night of leftovers. If there's not enough leftovers, because I do try to use the leftovers for lunches as well, then we have brinner, which is breakfast for dinner because we always have breakfast stuff on hand, whether that is just a bowl of cereal, depending on what we've got going on, making some eggs and some bacon. We've got lots of like waffles and stuff like that. Well, we did have lots of waffles. <laughs> we are running low on those as well. Um, we always have some kind Kind of like a breakfast item. So I've got the four to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and get our week started and try to finish clearing out what we've got on hand. That way we can start our year fresh. Monday night, first dinner for this video, and I am waiting for a pot of water to come to a boil. I did sprinkle some salt in there. And I'm also waiting for my oven to get to 400 degrees. Okay, so while I'm waiting for those two things to happen, I'm just gonna roughly chop my romaine. I already rinsed it off. I meant to prep this earlier in the week so it was ready, so I'm just kinda doing like a quick chop on it. It is a school night. So I don't like to do anything too crazy or time consuming on school nights. But I am making salad, just a quick, easy salad. So I've got all that chopped messily, like I said, just a quick chop. I'm gonna get it in my bowl here. Okay, now I've got a cucumber here. I give the ends to the dogs, they love it. So I'm just gonna set those aside for now. And the way I cut a cucumber up for salads is probably a little different than most people. I don't know. I like the pieces small. It definitely um, makes it a little harder for the kids to like pick out specific things. They have to eat all of the salad. So I don't know if you could tell there, but I cut it into three wedges and now I'm just slicing it up from there. I totally messed up how they were. And so you can see how small it makes them. I just prefer that. I used to cut them up like half moons, but the kids were just picking out the cucumbers and eating that and like leaving whatever salad mix, like the romaine, or if I got like a spring mix, they were just leaving that. And doing it this way, it makes it <laughs> a little harder for them. And I think they like it better because the pieces are smaller. It like mixes in with the lettuce or romaine or you know whatever I'm using. And they can, let me do this the right way, sorry. I'm trying to talk and get things done at the same time. But anyway, that's how I cut my cucumber up. So I'm gonna finish chopping this one up and I'm just tossing it in my bowl here off to the side for the salad. Okay, cucumber is done for this salad. However, oh, look at that piece, trying to hide. Let's get that in the bowl. However, since I already have my cutting board out and I was cutting up one cucumber, I am gonna go ahead and cut up another one. However, this one is going to be for school lunches, for snacking on for this week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, like I said, since you know I have all this stuff out, getting it prepped, it is Monday, so the kids will have the rest of the week to eat on this and when I'm putting them in 
lunch boxes or when I'm prepping a cucumber for lunch boxes, I do make a little bit of a thicker slice and it is the crescent or half moon. And then I've just got my little produce container here that I will put these in. I'm also trying to be quick because my kids can only be quiet for so long. <laughs> so <laughs> doing um, like talking while I'm cooking, which I prefer to voiceovers. I don't know why I just, I like talking while I'm in the moment, but doing it this way when the kids are home is sometimes it can be difficult. I just chopped that one in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat that little piece. Okay, so I've got my cucumber in my salad and cucumber prepped for this week. So my oven just beeped. I still have one more thing that I'm gonna cut up and get in the salad, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken in the oven. So what I've got here, because I don't know why it makes a difference, but I do have one picky child, or she just, she just knows what she likes, okay? And she likes chicken nuggets. She doesn't like chicken fingers, chicken strips, chicken whatever, she likes nuggets. <laughs> so I do have the, um, this is what I'm using for her chicken nuggets, the home style boneless chicken bites. I did, I feel like we won't eat all of this for dinner tonight, who knows? It really just depends on how hungry everybody is. Um, but if there's any leftover, then I'll utilize this for lunch tomorrow as well. I'll just pop it in the air fryer in the morning just to get it a little crispy and warm. Um, so I've got one little pan of the boneless chicken bites. And then this one is crispy chicken strips, which everybody loves except for one child. <laughs> so I do have a little pan of those. And since my oven is at 400, I can bake both of these for 20 minutes and they will be good to go. Okay, I've got them in the oven for 20 minutes. Let's check this water. Not boiling just yet. I have enough time to finish up the salad. Okay, I've got you kind of at an angle right now, but it is what it is. Um, last thing I'm adding is some tomatoes. These have already been rinsed um, earlier, or actually last week. I've had these for about a week, and we definitely have not eaten as many as I thought. So, they're still good though. I just half these for a salad, so that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut them in half, and I just eyeball the amount. I'm not gonna use this whole container. Um, the kids like to snack on these as well, but like I said, last week was definitely not a tomato snacking week apparently. So I'm glad that they're still nice and fresh and I can utilize them in our salad for this week. I would cut these up smaller also. Well, not this one necessarily, but some of these, I mean, this container has fairly large ones in it, but tomatoes are such a hot mess when you cut them up, like when you dice them. So. I don't want to deal with that right now. I don't want seeds and goo all over the place. I'm just gonna half them. Like, look how big that one is. That one's huge. All right, a couple more. I do hear that water boiling. Okay, that's everything I'm cutting up for the salad. All right, into the boiling water. This is what I am putting. Trader Joe's organic caprese ravioli with organic tomatoes and basil in a three cheese blend. I have had these forever. I pulled them out this morning, put them in the fridge. I had them in the freezer. Let's see, it says use or freeze by 9922. So like I said, they've been in my freezer. That's how long I have had these. I have two packages that I'm going to get into this water and I'm gonna cook them just a little longer than what it says because they are still, even though I took them out this morning and put them in the fridge, um, I should have done it last night because they are still about half frozen. So I'm gonna toss that in there. They're pretty big too and I'm just gonna let these cook for about eight minutes or so. Okay, I've got so many different angles going on tonight. <laughs> I've got you off to the side now. While I was pulling out dressings and um, the bacon that's in the fridge stuff for the salad, I saw, I remembered, I hard boiled some eggs earlier this morning and I'm gonna go ahead and pull, not everybody loves eggs in their salad, I love eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just roughly chop. Oh, now you can, you can see how an egg looks when you do the four, four, four method in the instant pot, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut up two, I don't know, maybe three, who knows? I just cut it into fours and then I'm just boom, 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 boom. Just, you know, a rough chop 
for the salad. And I'm not adding this into the salad because like I said, not everybody likes it. I'm putting it into a little bowl and it'll just be off to the side. So whoever wants eggs in their salad can add it. I might do three. I think I'll do three. Yeah, I'll do three because I know we will have leftover salad and that way we'll have the eggs already chopped for the next night that I set the salad out with. Okay, I should transfer to a smaller pot, but I don't want to. I don't want to dirty another thing. This doesn't look like very much. I thought two packages would be enough, but I guess it depends on how much the kids like it. I'm glad we're having the chicken with it because um, originally I was just going to make this, but I was like, eh, I need to add some protein, some meat. Um, so I was originally planning on dumping this whole thing in there. I'm not going to. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. This is the Rayo's homemade marinara sauce. I picked this up mostly from Sam's Club and I have my heat on low. So I'm just going to let this pot kind of heat the sauce while we're waiting for that chicken to be done. Yeah, I'm not adding any more. I probably could have um, added a little less in this, but because we don't have any like garlic bread to sop up the sauce with. I thought about buying some, but this week I was like, no, only buy what you absolutely need, which was basically the salad, <laughs> the, the, the fresh stuff. So, okay, like I said, I'm just gonna let that heat up. I've got it on low. I'm gonna put my top back on and I've got uh, a little more than half it looks like of this that I'll just figure out you know something else that that can go with okay let me show you our dinner spread if this is your first like dinner video with me I do not put them in like a fancy bowls and trays and set it at the table it's buffet style in my house everybody grabs a plate and works their way down the line and makes their food for our normal like weekday dinners. So I did mix the salad up. I've got the chicken strips and the chicken nuggets or chicken bites is really what they're called. Um, last week my back was out and I did minimal cleaning. So th this will eventually get clean. It's, it's no problem right now. And then here's the, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off actually. There's the ravioli with too much sauce, but it'll still be good. And then here's everything I've got pulled out for the salad everybody kind of like to create creates their own little mixture on top of their salad so these are our go-to dressings we've got the olive garden ranch olive garden italian the eggs oh i need to get a little spoon for that um croutons sunflower kernels cottage cheese and here's the bacon um this is not closing properly so that's why we have a little clip on there so I'll go ahead and I'm gonna call the kids down have them you know everybody make their plates and then I'll I'll be back and show you guys my plate okay here's my plate this definitely didn't look like very much but there's still plenty left in the pot so I feel like two was enough just wanted to to say that we are a family of five here in the house now so um I just got some chicken bites I didn't want to have to worry about cutting anything up or or anything like that so I just went with the chicken bites I've got my ravioli here and then for my salad this is kind of like my go-to when we have these toppings sometimes we don't have cottage cheese we don't have the eggs but I will always put the Italian dressing and the sunflower seeds but when we have cottage cheese I'll put that and when we have the hard boiled eggs I add that as well and that is my like favorite <laughs> salad combination so this is what we are having for dinner Monday night Tuesday's dinner, sticking with the theme of just eating what we've got on hand. It's definitely all packaged stuff today. And my stovetop is clean, so yay. <laughs> I'm patting myself on the back. Kitchen was clean today. All right, so we've got a German feel for dinner. These two items I got at Aldi. Um, actually, Kira picked this one up for me, this garlic sage spatzel. So I'm going to cook this up. The servings are five. I don't know if everybody's gonna like it or not. And then I picked this up, this chicken schnitzel at Aldi, I believe. I think I got it at Aldi. I don't think I got it on the base. Um, but there's only two left in here. There were six. We've already had this for dinner once. So I've got two in here. And then these two items, I have a subscription to a German food box that I get every month. And these two items were in it. 
the not in December, but the month before. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these. Um, this is just some purple cabbage, and then these are six bread dumplings. I think everything I'm gonna be utilizing like all of my stove top. So <laughs> I, I might be able to do these in the microwave. Nope, it's boiling. So I'm gonna get all of this cooked up. I'm not going to set the camera up. I'm actually starting dinner a little later than normal and filming takes a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna cook everything per package directions. Because we only have two of this chicken schnitzel in here two nights ago, so over the weekend, we had another like a German inspired meal. We had beer, bratwurst, and sauerkraut. I can't remember what else we had with it. Oh, I think I just made french fries. Um, and we had enough left over for two like lunch portions. So I think between the leftovers and then what I managed to find in my pantry and freezer, um, we're gonna have like a German inspired dinner. I am gonna pull out the salad too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cooked and then I'll show you guys kind of like the spread, what everything looks like, and then I will come back also with what my plate looks like. But this is what we're having for for dinner this Tuesday night. Okay, dinner's not ready yet, but I just wanted to show you. <laughs> I've got everything going. Um, this just needs to stay on low. It's just heating it up a little bit. Um, these are very weird. I've never cooked the bread, what are they called? Bread dumplings? Bread dumplings like this before in individual bags. So we'll see how these turn out. But they had to like sit in cold water for 10 minutes and then you let it come to a boil and let it cook for one minute. So I'm just waiting for that to come to a boil and the spatzel is doing its thing in there. I've started pulling out all the salad stuff, but I will show you guys once everything is said and done. Okay, dinner is ready. So I'm gonna call the kids down in a minute, but I've got all the salad stuff out. I've got the red cabbage here or purple cabbage here, nice and warm. The spatzel, I like mine a little crispy, not all of it crispy, so I just kind of like sit, let it sit on the bottom and get crispy a little bit and then I'll stir it up and mix it all together. So that smells really good. And then I've got the schnitzel and then of course our bratwurst. I need to pull out some hot dog buns. I have them in the fridge because the kids, I'm sure the kids are gonna pick the um, bratwurst and they like to put theirs in a hot dog bun. <laughs> so I'll get that. And then these smell really good. I've, like I already mentioned, I've never had them before. They're, they were definitely, you know, a little odd to cook, but they don't look very appetizing, but they smell really, really good. So I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and get the kids plates made up and then well, they'll come down here and, and make their plates and then I will make mine. All right, here's my plate. So I just, those schnitzel are pretty big and I, a lot of the kids wanted a schnitzel. So I just halved all of them. So there were four pieces <laughs> instead of two. So I've got half of a schnitzel. I heated up some of the sauerkraut. I'm not a huge fan of the cabbage. I prefer sauerkraut. So I've got my sauerkraut. I got a little helping of the spatzel, a dumpling, and then of course the salad. And it's exactly the same as last night. So I put the sunflower seeds, the egg, and then a drizzle of the Italian dressing. But this is what is for dinner Tuesday night. All right, guys, it is Wednesday, and this was like a last minute addition. <laughs> As I was pulling things out um, for dinner tonight, I was like, you know what sounds really good? Stuffed olives. This is one thing that is typically only around during like big family get togethers. My mom or somebody, whoever brings like a relish tray, um, a few of us will add like cheese, not cheese, cream cheese, stuffed olives. And that just sounded really good with what I've got on the meal plan for dinner tonight. So I took probably about 20 minutes. <laughs> it, does, it is a little time consuming. Um, have several cans of olives in my fridge. So I'm gonna do another can, maybe two cans tomorrow because these last for a fairly long time in the fridge and they're just a great snack. So all I did though, instead of just, we have, we normally do just typical cream cheese, but I was like, I wanna add something to it. So I have this Julio's all purpose seasoning and I think I've only used it like once. Like it's still really, really full. And I've had this for probably a good year. Um, it does say it expires towards the end of this month, January, 2023, but it's not gonna like, I'll still keep it longer than that. It'll just be a little weaker and I'll have to use more. So I didn't measure, I just kind of 
sprinkled a whole bunch in here and I used my hand mixer to mix that up a little bit and then I use a knife to kind of push the cream cheese into my black olives. So that's, that's gonna be just a little side option for our dinner tonight. But I am gonna put this in the fridge so it can get nice and cold again. The cream cheese can harden a little bit. Um, so this will stay in the fridge while I am cooking up everything else that is going to be for dinner tonight. Okay, so now I'm going to get dinner ready. I'm going to preheat my oven to 325. Okay guys, so for dinner tonight, another easy peasy, just what I've got on hand, nothing crazy. I have my oven preheating to 325 degrees and I pulled out some ham from our freezer. I can't remember, I think this is from Friendsgiving. Yes, when Kira and her family came over, I bought a huge ham um, and we. this is the last bag that we have left over. So I'm gonna go ahead and just single layer. I did spray my pan, I spray everything. Um, oh yeah, see I pulled this out this morning and it is still a little frozen. So I'm going to let it sit out while my oven preheats and then I'm gonna put it in for I don't know because it's frozen. I'm gonna put it in for 10 minutes and then I'll check it. I mean, these pieces aren't very thick, so it shouldn't take very long. But I'm just gonna put what we've got left out on here, out on my pan, and then once I get this in the oven, I'll show you guys what I'm going to serve it with. Okay, my ham is in the oven and it has about eight minutes left. I put it in for 15 instead of 10. I just wanna make sure that it's not frozen. I'll check it in a couple minutes just to make sure. But unlike last night, tonight I'm only heating up one thing on the stove and that is just a can of green beans. Um, is one can gonna be enough? Um, maybe I'll add another one. No, um, yeah, I'm gonna need two cans. There's definitely, that's not gonna be enough for all five of us. All right, I did drain this second can though. I should have used the next size up pot, but this will be fine. All right, so I'm gonna turn my heat on low and I'm just gonna let this cook the entire time. The ham is in the oven, but it's not just gonna be green beans. I am going to add a big tablespoon of butter. Set that spoon right there for now. And I'm also going to add a big pinch of salt. And a smaller pinch of pepper. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir this up or mix it up the best I can without Spilling any green beans out. I'm gonna use my spoon to kinda chop up this butter. But it'll melt here in a little bit. Okay, ham is definitely gonna take 15 minutes since it was still a little frozen. There is about five minutes left. And then I did decide kind of last minute to throw in a few mozzarella sticks as well. I was just like, oh, this dinner seems really light because <laughs> I'm not making any rolls or anything. Um, all right, and then also in my freezer, I got this for free from HEB. I purchased something else and this came as a freebie. Um, it's just a steamable bag of rice and it says four servings in here, four one cup serving. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this in the microwave and it says just to cook it for five minutes. Okay, dinner is ready. I've got my green beans, the ham, mozzarella sticks, rice, and then, well, our two kind of last minute additions, <laughs> and then the stuffed black olives. I am, I'm digging this, just like pulling things together from my pantry and, and freezer and fridge kind of kind of thing. These meals are super easy. Okay, so this is my plate, and this is what we're having for dinner on Wednesday. I did forget to mention that I pulled out the soy sauce for whoever wanted to add that to their rice. Everybody pretty much put soy sauce on the rice except for Rose. She likes plain rice and then 
Pearl and Mark add sriracha. I did forget to pull that out too. So that's that's out for them to add to their rice. But like I said, this is what we're having for dinner on Wednesday. Okay, we have come to Thursday and I'm already in my pajamas. It is a pretty chilly day today. Um, and tonight's dinner is no different. I went through my freezer and the fridge and this is what I pulled together. Um, so we have a few of these country fried steaks left over. It does have a gravy mix in here as well. These mashed potatoes, um, I think... I think we got these at either Sam's or Costco. Um, these have been in the freezer for a while. And um, these we got from Sam's Club Members Mark. I think it was for New Year's Eve, I believe, dinner. Um, so we already had one of them. We're gonna have the other one tonight. They're just already made, fully cooked mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna heat them up in the microwave. And then I've got two items from Trader Joe's that have been in my freezer for a little bit these are the seasoned corned ribs we have not had these yet i think i got these the last time i went and these so this i'm gonna cook in the oven mix up the gravy on the stove microwave um, i can cook these in the air fryer which will be nice so that's what i'm gonna do with the corn ribs and then these are also from trader joe's and we have not had them before they're portuguese rolls and i think there's eight in here and these go in the oven so Nothing really to share, like no recipes this week. Like I said, it's just quick and easy. I'm trying to utilize what we have on hand because some of the items we've had for quite a long time, like this has been in my freezer for a while. So that way I am utilizing what is on hand and nothing's getting wasted or like a ton of freezer burn, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip all of this up and show you guys our spread and then of course my plate. Okay, so update on dinner. I've got the gravy packet that came with the chicken heating up on the stove top. I just had to mix, it was a powdered um, substance in the bag, so I just had to mix it with some water and heat it up. The air fryer over here is going. Um, I put 12 minutes, so at like the five, six minute mark, it will beep and tell me to like turn it or shake it, which is what I normally do. I just pull the basket out and give it a shake, put it back in and it'll finish cooking. The mashed potatoes are going to beep in a second or in a minute um, and I'll stir them and then put them back in for another four minutes and 30 seconds. And then the chicken, let's see, it's got two minutes left, but I do have to flip it and then it has to cook for five minutes longer and the, rose, the rolls will be done in about um, three to four minutes. So they'll just sit out and start cooling off until everything else is done. Okay, dinner is ready. Here is our spread. So we've got the mashed potatoes, nice and steamy. Um, if this is good, I haven't tried it yet. I'll let you guys know, I'll, I'll taste it here in a minute. Um, but if it's good, I will pick it up again. I need to remember that Trader Joe's, there's, you don't really get a whole lot. <laughs> so for our family size. Um, so I don't know if this would be enough for the five of us because the kids, I mean, we all really enjoy corn. So we'll see, um, but if it is good, I will cook it not in the air fryer next time because it definitely got a little bit more crispy than I thought it would, but it smells really, really good. So I'm excited to try that. We've got our gravy here and the chicken. I don't remember how many pieces were left or in the bag when I bought it, um, but there were exactly five. So this is gonna be perfect for us. And then we've got the rolls and of course the silverware and plates over here. Okay, here is my plate. I like the gravy on the mashed potatoes and the chicken, so I put it on both. All right, so update on the corn. It is not what I thought it was. <laughs> um, you actually have to hold it and eat it off. Like there's still the, the bit of the corn that you can't eat right here, like the middle part. So it's basically like corn on the cob. It's just in little strips and not a whole piece of corn on the cob. So. Um, the kids are a little wary of it. I don't think I'll pick it up again. I did eat this little bit off, but it was more crispy. Um, so it was a little burnt. I think it's gonna taste just like corn on the cob. So it, it's more like a novelty, something fun, something different. Um, so I don't I don't know. Maybe I'll pick up another bag next time I go or two bags just to have in the freezer. So I have, you know, an option for when I'm you know, down to the wire and just going through what we have on hand like I'm doing this week. Well, I have been doing it for several weeks. I'm just filming this week. So we're like down to the bare bones right now. So I figured I would film what I am pulling together for the family, but all right, this is what we are having for dinner. Almost looks like if I take this or like put this right here, it looks like a smiley face. I've got the eyes. <laughs> that was 
in the mouth. Oh, I just noticed that. All right, I'm being silly. So this is what we are having for dinner on a Thursday night. Okay, those are the four meals that I ended up finished feeding my family or making for my family this week. And we are definitely, we're definitely down to the bare bones. So I'm thinking I'm going to film a, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. I've done several of these in the past. What I have on hand right now, like we are in a new week. We're starting a new week well, by the time you guys are seeing this, but it is a birthday week. So it's my birthday and it is Bryce's birthday, my son. So we both have a birthday this week. He wants to go out. His party is this this weekend. Um, so we're like ordering in food for that. Well, we're picking up pizza, but I'm not making anything. So this week is like full of going out um, with like eating the rest of what we have on hand in between. So by the end of this coming week, when you guys are seeing this, we're really gonna be like bare bones in it. So let me know if you would like me to film a like what I have on hand right now, and then maybe I'll post two videos, a what I have on hand, and then like a stock up grocery haul, or I'm not sure if I wanna stock up yet. I'm not feeling the need to stock up, but we'll see. We'll see how things go, how I'm feeling by the end of the week um, and all of that. But let me know if you wanna see that, what I've got on hand, maybe like a clean out also, because I know the refrigerator needs that with all the like ins and outs and, and getting the bare bones out and all of that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Not really like recipe style, like anything new for you guys to try for dinners, but just kind of eating what we have on hand, coming up with quick, easy meals. The kids actually really enjoyed this past week of dinners of me just picking things from what we had on hand, like boxes and stuff like that. So that was nice and it didn't take me long to cook either. So it's definitely been a nice relaxing week, but I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Give this video a big thumbs up. I'm chatty for some reason, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.